guys? All right, so excuse the mess in the back. Like I always say, I have kids. So you guys have um, sent in your assumptions about me, and I'm actually really nervous because this is the first time that I'll be like actually reading them with you guys. So we're gonna see what you guys are saying. Obviously, if there's anything bad, I'm not going to answer them, as you guys know. So. Um, hopefully there's some good stuff in here that I can actually make a video into because I already know what you guys are going to ask me and I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to dodge this for you guys. So let's just get started. All right. Favorite color is blue. We're going to start simple. Yes, that assumption is true. My favorite color is blue. A really kind heart and hardly get mad, but when someone tests you, it's on. This is actually very true. Um, I don't like confrontation. I've never been the type of person to be like that unless you push me to the edge and I have no point or no choice but to be that way. You don't want to bring that Jasmine out. I'm just letting you know. That you're so sweet but you can probably throw hands. I actually have not been into a fight. I don't plan on being in a fight. I've been close to being in fights um, but I just don't know how I would react being in a fight. Um, it's kind of terrifying if you think about it um, but I always just make sure that I just stay clear of that kind of stuff because I'm just trying to grow my hair. I ain't trying to stress out about nothing else. You feel me? You feel me. You're good in bed. I mean, no complaints so far. My biggest dream is to see you butt ass naked. Keep dreaming because you're not going to see that. You're bipolar. Now, what gave you guys... what? What have I done for you guys to feel that way? To be honest, I'm not bipolar, um, but this postpartum has me really feeling like I could possibly be. You feel like people are sleeping on your music. I do feel like that in a sense, but also at the same time, I haven't really been giving you guys much to go off of, so it's kind of really my fault. So I kind of give you a reason to feel that way if you do, so my bad. That you never have me, so. Okay, I've explained this so many times and it gets tiring to explain, but Amira um, has the same amount of time with both parents and it's been that way for a very long time. No parent gets her more than the other. It's very equal at the moment, so yes. I just, I'm not very public with my everyday life and there's nothing wrong with being public about it and there's nothing wrong with being private about it. You have pubes. Excuse me, I do not have those. What are those? I've never had that in my life ever. Never. You are stuck up. Okay, so I uh, honestly, um, even some of my friends that I have now said that I looked very stuck up and rude when they first met me, but when they got to know me, that was not the case. So yes, I guess I have a really great resting bitch face, but I'm telling you I'm one of the sweetest persons you guys will ever meet. And don't let my, I like to space out a lot. Don't let that, you know, you know, push you away or make you feel like you can't come up to me. A lot of times people will say, oh my God, I saw you, I wanted to take a picture. Ba -da 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 -da. Come up to me. I don't bite unless you want me to. You're still in love with your ex. Come on, guys. I thought we were over this. No, I'm not. I'm really not. Oh, my God. You guys, I really thought that was something we were going to get past. Like, there's absolutely no way. You are freaky. That assumption is very true. You are a great mother to your kids, and you don't care what anyone thinks about you. This is very true. Um, in the beginning, you guys did get um, you did get to me a little bit because I started I started questioning exactly what I was doing wrong if people weren't perceiving me as a great mother, but it was because you guys had little to go off of. I never really let you guys in too much when it came to me and my kids. So I mean, at the time, Amira. So you guys didn't really have a lot to go off of, and that's okay because my daughter is a happy, healthy little girl. And um, she's able to express herself the way that she wants to. And that just comes from her parents loving her. And, I mean, if you guys want to you know, have assumptions about me all day long, that's fine. Because if you guys really think the sky is purple, then you guys think the sky is purple. And there's nobody's going to be able to change that for you. You hate Ronnie's baby mama. I do not hate anybody. Hate is a very strong word. So I just want to let you know I do not hate anyone. You dated Austin McBroom. Okay. I didn't think this was going to be in here. Um, we dated along the time when I was 18 years old, so it was a really, really long time ago, guys. Um, so yeah, this, uh, like, a minute ago. But yes, when I was younger. You don't want any more kids. I absolutely want more kids. I just, right now, 
I'm not healed up from my last child, so I don't want any more kids right now, but in the future, absolutely. I love kids, my kids are amazing, and why not have some more when I'm ready? You gave up too easy on your last engagement. Still love you though. I personally don't feel like I gave up. I gave it everything I had, and you know sometimes things just don't work out and that's totally fine. Um, but I don't think I gave up easy. I literally gave everything within me uh, to be a supportive, loving person. And at the end of the day, it just didn't work out because it's, things were just so stagnant. And that's nobody's fault. It's just the way it is. You know, I feel like the whole reason that even was a thing was because of Amira and to have Amira. Because without that, there'd be no Mizo. So, yeah, it is what it is. And there's no hard feelings on that. You doubt your abilities to be successful in life. Okay, you guys kind of struck a chord with that one. Absolutely. Um, cause you guys know I was doing, you know, the music and stuff and I stopped and you know, stuff like music, it's hard to get back to cause it's constantly changing. And I, at times I did feel like a failure and it's like, what better time to feel like a failure than when you have two kids looking up to you. But I'm learning to get back on my game again, um, to not be a procrastinator cause that's my biggest thing. I'm like to procrastinate a lot. It's just, it's hard. Um, now with pandemic, me going through postpartum, but I'm getting out of this little hole and I'm fighting and I'm gonna be putting out some more stuff. My kids are looking up to me and I have to give them something to be proud of. Their mama's not gonna be a loser, I'll tell you that much. She's a fighter. Why don't you follow Ronnie and Michaela? I didn't unfollow anybody. Finally in a happy, stable place in your heart. Yes, 100%. I know a lot of people think like, oh, because I don't have this big house or I don't have all these luxurious things like you see a lot, you know, with, with you know, just things on social media. Doesn't mean I'm not happy. I'm very happy and I'm very content in my life. It, I'm a simple person. It doesn't take a lot to make me happy. I just want stability. And I want to be with somebody who's trustworthy and that's good for my kids. And I feel like I found that. Um, but not saying anything's perfect. Not everything is perfect. There's a lot of things that are really hard. And I, like I'm saying, I don't really broadcast a lot of this. You guys really don't know. But everybody goes through problems. And it's basically how you learn to get through it is what's going to work for you. None, but I got Philo because of you. Yes, I'm telling you, Philo is it. I'm be watching everything on they. I like the view. You do? Yes, you're my best view. Me. You're gonna come on OnlyFans. No, guys, I'm not going on OnlyFans. Maybe, maybe just for my feet. You guys want to see feet stuff? That's cool. I'll I'll take some pictures of the soles of my feet. But other than that, you ain't get nothing else. You're insecure. Yes, I'm actually very insecure and I'm working on it because I have a beautiful, beautiful kid by the name of Amira who's going to be a beautiful woman one day and she's gonna need to learn that from her mother so her mother cannot be insecure. So yes, I am from past stuff but I'm working on it because you can't raise a confident young lady if you are insecure all the time. So keep that in mind. Are you single? No, I am actually not single. I'm still with Omar. I'm with my son's father. We are going strong and we're super happy. Just because I don't post it doesn't mean it's not happening, guys. I just like to keep a lot of things private. We be living in the moment, so just keep that to know. Wow, oh, guys, there's a lot of things in here. <laughs> you ever dated an Asian? No, I've actually never dated an Asian. Um, but yeah. Okay, last question. You cannot drive. Damn. No, I still cannot. COVID got your girl messed up. I was on my way to the DMV and they're like, stop, halt. No license for you because we are closed. No, that's not how it really happened. But that's what I tell people that I was actually about to do it. But COVID is the reason why. As if like I'm 26 and the last time I took a test I was 18. Like, come on, procrastinating. But I'm just scared that I'm going to fail again. But I have to try. So I'm working on that and don't worry about it. It's coming soon. All right, guys, Zane is back. Um, but yeah, that was my assumptions about me. I tried to answer the most questions that I possibly could. Um, but thank you guys so much for submitting your assumptions. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to see any more videos, let me know. Say bye-bye, Zane. -o. Say bye-bye. Oh, say bye-bye, baby. Say bye-bye, baby. Oh, say bye-bye. Oh, say bye-bye, baby. Say bye-bye. No, I didn't. He's basically saying that the reason I'm still bloated in the morning is because I have a bunch of junk in my gut. Um, it's probiotics and super greens and prebiotics, I think, or something like that. I don't know. So, we gonna try it. I, but I just wanted to document it. I've had it before. It. It's not very good. But... Should I smell it first? Don't. Actually, it smells way better than it tastes. It tastes terrible. It smells terrible, you mean? 
Oh, it smells terrible. So it's gonna taste <laughs> disgusting. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Are we downing it? Wait, wait, wait. Tastes like a, like a vinegar apple-y. <laughs> Omar! <laughs> <sighs> On the road to good health. Let's Cheers. Go. Finish it. Alright. Good chance you might shit your brains out later, but whatever. I'm gonna throw up. Get it out! And watery. Oh, wait, it's it. How do you feel? How many days a week have to do it? Every day. <laughs> I can't do that. You gotta do it every day. Woo! I can't see it, but there's chills all over my arm. That was terrible. Alright, whatever. Thanks. We'll make these pimples go away? Yeah. Cool. All, it's all around, you know, everything. It's gonna fix everything. So, how is this breastfeeding for Zane, though? It doesn't matter. He's not gonna crap his brains out? No, that's not how it works. Okay. He already does anyway. He just, you know, he just did crap his brains out already. <laughs>